Today's video is sponsored by the Army Painter. In this one, I'm going to show you how to seriously level up your pin markers for Bolt Action by Warlord Games. These pin markers come in all three of their current Bolt Action starter sets, and I wouldn't be surprised if they come in future starter sets too. These things are really handy. I use them in multiple games, including Bolt Action. Unfortunately, I find it hard to read the numbers on the dials when they come straight out of the box. This project completely makes it easier to read those numbers from a distance. To complete this project, you need primer, two colors of paint, and anti-shine matte varnish is optional for added protection. I chose to go with black and white for my colors. We are going to skip the priming part and go straight to the painting. Having primed the bases of the markers black, I then dry brushed the dials white. The idea is to get white on those numbers. At first they were a little dull, so I went a little too heavy on the dry brushing. That is okay though, the next step is we're going to go back and brush it over with black paint. I'm just going to make it so that the numbers stand out more. To do this, I use a tiny paintbrush from the Army Painter. For the rest of the dial, I use a much larger brush to paint the black on to get it done quicker. When I was done, they were much easier to read from a distance than when I started, but I still wanted them to be much better. So I got out the white paint again and went over them again with an even smaller brush. To be honest, I think that I could have done the numbers this way the very first time I painted them and then be done with it. Look at how the white applies to those numbers. Sure, my work is not perfect, but these numbers are so much more readable now. To give them a test, I popped on the top part of the dial, and I like it. This is a measurable improvement from how they started. When the whole dial was at translucent red, I can't read the numbers without picking up the dials and bringing them in close to my face. With the dials how they are now, I am able to read them from the tabletop. Because I'm a cautious person, I decide to protect the surface with some anti-shine matte varnish. This will make the paint less likely to wear off of the dials. I figured that since these are fancy gaming tokens, that they will be moved around a lot and the extra protection couldn't hurt. In the interest of speed, I covered only the tops of the dials in varnish. I pretty much just slopped that stuff on for the first ones, but then found the dials moved around on me. To prevent this, I got out a second brush and used that to hold the dials in place while I painted the top surface. I let them dry overnight. The next day I cut the blast markers off of the sprue. Here I'm using a cutting mat and a big old knife, but clippers would have been much easier and probably safer to use. After cleaning off the cuts, I snapped each flame into the dials. Some were easier to snap in than the others. The dials work well and I can see the numbers. Here's one alongside some miniatures. This project really makes the pin markers from Warlord Games much easier to read from a distance. I used them in my previous Bolt Action Battle Report, and you can get them from any of the three current Bolt Action starter sets on the market. This includes Band of Brothers, which happens to be where I got mine from, Island Assault, and that brand new starter set, A Gentleman's War. In that starter set, they have 24 German soldiers taking on 24 British desert rats. Both sides also get an armored car. On top of that, you get the rule book, dice, and these pin markers that I just painted up in this tutorial. Four are pictured in the product page for that starter set, but I think 12 actually come in the box. If you get your hands on some of these pin markers by Warlord Games, I highly encourage you to paint them up. They go from being something neat that you can't really read from a distance to something that is even more functional on the tabletop. This idea came to me years ago when one of my gaming friends at Forbes Hobbies was telling me about a project that he wanted to do. That project was to paint his pin markers just as I did in this video. I played with the idea of different colors and seriously contemplated painting the numbers red. I went with white to increase the contrast so that I could read the numbers even better. What about you? Have you painted up your pin markers? Leave us a comment and let us know how your project went. Before ending, I would like to send a thanks out again to the Army Painter for sponsoring this video. I would also like to let you know that there are affiliate links in the description below. 
If you use one of the links that are labeled as affiliate, a small portion of the sale goes to Must Contain Minis at no extra charge to you. It is a way to get yourself something nice while helping us out. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it around and give it a like. Until next time, happy gaming everyone.